Hey, it's Heather, and today we're doing a short rib ragu over parpadelli, an absolutely lovely dish. First thing you must do is slowly and gently brown those short ribs. That'll leave a lovely bit of oil at the bottom, and you can then cook your mirepoix, your carrots, onions, shallots, garlic, get it nice and soft, then you sprinkle a little flour, add some uh, tomato paste, some tomatoes, and then you really want it to cook a little bit, add a bit of garlic. You want it to cook a little bit, you want to cook that flour off, stir it up, get a little color on that tomato, and then wine. What else could be good but wine? And then of course some stock, I like to use unsalted, much easier to control the flavoring. Then you're gonna let that cook just a little bit, add your herbs, and now you're going to do the braise. You just nestle that short ribs right into the, the broth, Get them all in there so that they can get completely uh, softened as they braise. The beautiful thing about this dish, you pop it in the oven. It's not even on the stove top. It will render quite a bit of fat. Just skim it off. And then uh, you will take out that meat. Look at that meat. You'll take it out and let it cool. Just a touch. There'll be some herbs. Take the herbs out as well. Use your forks and just gently spread apart that meat and come like butter. Let the stock sort of uh, cook a little further. And I personally like to just smooth it out a little bit with the blender. You don't have to, but I like the consistency there. Put the meat back. Oh my gosh, you have nothing but nutrients. The carrots, the celery, the meat. Uh, Parpadelli. I like Parpadelli. I imagine you can use other kinds of pasta, but this is really the classic. Gently mix, mix it up, top it with cheese, basil, parsley, or nothing at all. It really does not do much. So good, dot TV.